Hi, this is Marty Gabler with another segment of Besides Still Waters. I'm reading from Psalm chapter 40. It says, I waited patiently and expectantly for the Lord. And I love this language here in the latter part of verse 1, Psalm 40. It says, And he inclined to me and heard my cry. That terminology, he inclined to me, means to uh, stretch forth. It means to bend, to move forward. It's, uh, it requires voluntary action. There's no accidental action here in this. And he inclined to me and heard my cry. Verse 2 says, He drew me up out of a horrible pit, a pit of tumult and destruction, out of the miry clay, froth and slime, and he set my feet upon a rock steadying my steps and establishing my goings. And he has put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and fear, revere and worship, and put their trust and confident reliance in the Lord. That's happening all over the world. We get reports daily how people who did not even know of a Jesus are putting their trust and reliance in Him and they're doing it on a daily basis. Verse 4 of Psalm 40 says, Blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied is the man who makes the Lord his refuge and trust and turns not to the proud or to followers of false gods. Verse 5, Many, O Lord, my God, are the wonderful works which you have done, and your thoughts toward us no one can compare with you. If I should declare and speak of them, they are too many to be numbered. Verse 6, Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, nor have you delight in them. You have given me the capacity to hear and obey. Your law, a more valuable service than burnt offerings and sin offerings, which you do not require. Verse 11 says, Withhold not your tender mercy from me, O Lord. Let your loving kindness and your truth continually preserve me. That cry, that request in verse 11 has already been covered actually in verse 1 where it says, he inclined to me and heard my cry. He bent forward. He stretched forward. He made a purposeful move in my direction. That's how the psalmist started. And so he has such assurance when he comes to verse 11. Withhold not your tender mercy from me, O Lord. People would withhold mercies. People would withhold ability to help or relieve sufferings of various sorts, but, but not this God, not the God of Psalm 40 verse 1 who inclines toward us. Boy, did He ever incline toward us when He sent Jesus. I would call that the ultimate inclining toward us that was done on purpose. Let your loving kindness and your truth continually preserve me. 
Heavenly Father, I pray for my friends this night as we are closing down our day to get our rest and move on into the tasks of tomorrow. I pray that tonight your tender mercy as my friends rest would cover them. That your loving kindness, your truth would preserve them in spite of what they might be facing in loneliness this night, in struggles this night, in pain or affliction this night. Tender mercies, Lord, for my friends. We wait expectantly and patiently for you, Lord, and we know that you are inclining yourself toward us and we incline toward you. We move toward you in our thoughts, in our words, our prayers, and we sing praises. We sing a new song like verse 3 says. He has put a new song in my mouth. I ask for a new song to be put in the mouths of my friends this night. Thank you, Father. He's inclining himself toward you. His tender mercies are toward you. And his truth is continually preserving you. Rest in that tonight. And arise in the morning with that assurance. God is for you who can be against you. Good night. God bless.